Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a video I didn't plan on doing, however I feel uh, it needs to be done. Uh, recently a channel uh, on YouTube accused me of stolen valor. And uh, anybody who served this country honorably um, would understand that that is a charge that's about as bad as it gets. I mean, realistically, the only things I can think of being accused of that are probably worse are like rape and child abuse. Um, it goes to the, the core of, of who a, a service member is. <clears throat> so I'm going to provide a little bit of uh, evidence here. Again, I, for folks who watch the channel, you're going to know this already. I don't really talk about my military um, experience unless prompt about it. Uh, generally in Q&A videos, people always ask. Um, but or if it's relevant, sometimes I'll bring it up too, but it's almost never relevant, which is why I don't really talk about it much. So uh, I served in the Air Force. Um, I will roll in uh, DD-214s that are going to be heavily redacted, um, and that's my right. Um, but the reason I'm doing that is uh, because, again, I don't get into details about what I did, <laughs> i.e., like if someone's trying to be a stolen valor person or committing stolen valor, I don't think they'd talk about details and try to claim things. I don't claim anything. Uh, except for some basic things that I've said over the years that I'm going to provide evidence of. On the D214s, I'm going to redact a ton of stuff, um, but I'll leave the last two letters of my social security number so that way you can see it's a consistent person, i.e. me, and not just a bunch of random ones I pulled off the internet. <coughs> so anyway, served in the Air Force, served honorably. Um, recently, or not recently, probably a couple years ago, uh, a friend of mine, Tech Sergeant Chris uh, Hefcoat, uh, committed suicide. I made a video fundraiser for his family and his wife and his kids um, and talked about my time in the Air Force a little bit in that video. Um, if you guys want any validation, you can call up his wife, talk to his kids. Uh, they all received that money um, and I appreciate everyone who donated to that for sure. Um, so they can validate that portion, I suppose. Um, I served in the United States Army as well. I'll probably roll in pictures along the way. Uh, during this video, as well as my DD-214. I should have two, two from the Army. should be there. I'll pull them uh, after this video. Um, so I did that. Um, I've claimed before that I am a veteran of the Iraq War. I am. That's a fact. Um, and we'll get into that here a little bit later on in the video as well. Um, but that should be on a DD-214. Um, I've claimed that, um, especially when I review armor, that I have uh, I sustained a lot of injuries um, to my back. Uh, during my time in the military, which is true. Broke it a couple times and did a lot of other damage and some issues with hips and other things as well. <clears throat> and uh, I am a, I'm a 100% uh, disabled veteran from the VA. Um, so you can't make that stuff up, folks. It's real, it really happened. Uh, those are real injuries, there's real damage that I suffered um, during my time in. Um, I served with Pretty, a pretty long time. Some big units, some small units. I've served with thousands and thousands of airmen and soldiers that can verify everything I'm saying. I have, um, I mean, I've like, literally, there's hundreds of people that I served with that watch this channel, maybe even over a thousand that are subscribers on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc., where this video is gonna be posted. I'm guessing they're gonna post in the comments section. Um, and it's, it's patently absurd to make this type of accusation. And it's wrong. It's low. Um, it's, it's dishonorable. It is, um, yeah, it's a lot of things, I guess, that I probably shouldn't say on YouTube. Um, and then recently, this is just something that just came up the other day. Somebody asked in a um, Q&A video, you know, I've talked about it before. I run other businesses. The YouTube channel is not all that I do. And uh, I had a good career before I came in the military, before I went in the military, excuse me. And um, you know, I've done a lot of things in my life, uh, a lot of cool things, a lot of interesting things. And somebody asked what I was most proud of. And it's a simple answer. Um, during a deployment to Iraq, I was uh, in charge of a, a group, a small group of soldiers. And um, we went there, did what we had to do, and uh, we came home. And so, like I said, it was a smaller group. And um, unlike, you know, like what you see, like when like uh, the 101st or the 82nd Airborne or first cab or whatever, when those units come home, there's like, they all get off a plane. There's like all the wives with flags and kids and stuff like that. In smaller units, it tends not to work like that. <clears throat> so we got in about 3 a.m. after about, what is that, like a 24, 22 hour flight, something like that. Um, and we had 
obviously sensitive equipment, uh, sensitive items, weapons, et cetera, that we had to turn in uh, to the company area. So the family, family members of uh, my men were um, waiting in the parking lot at 3 a.m. of our company area. <laughs> anyway, we got home, or we got back to the company, excuse me, and uh, they were all there and seeing um, you know, my men with their wives and their kids uh, and bringing them all home alive. Uh, that's, that's what I'm most proud of, for sure. And uh, several of those guys that I'm talking about, they know who they are and they follow this channel and they follow me on social media and I'm guessing they'll comment. They don't have to, don't feel like you have to. I'm just making a point that any of these accusations that have been made um, are baseless, slanderous, again, dishonorable and uh, repugnant. So I'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna address anything else that was um, discussed by this person uh, because it's below me and beneath me. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See all of you in the next video.